right, for more on this, we want to take you now to suburban Houston, where officials are updating that chase that ended with a stolen tractor trailer crashing into a Texas Department of Safety, so a, Public Safety building. Let's our, watch. Our driver's license office that's directly across the street from here. What we know is that we had several people injured as a result of this accident, as a result of this incident. Um, the driver was, was being followed. He had stolen an 18-wheeler earlier. Justin's going to get into all that, so I won't get into those details. He was being, being chased by a, a deputy, and then he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured, and, and one is deceased at this time. Again, Justin will get into all those. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day. My heart and, and goes out. My heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured, as well as those that are injured. We have multiple agencies that are here that are assisting, to include Washington County, Brenham PD, the FBI, and as well as all the resources that we have with the Texas DPS. So we have the Texas Rangers, the Texas Highway Patrol, and the Criminal Investigations Division. So I'll step back. And let, I'll step back and let Justin uh, Sergeant Ruiz come up and give you guys the details. Thank you all for being here. Really, really, really appreciate y'all. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a sad day for DPS and for all the people that were involved, uh, all the customers that we had in our building today uh, for today's incident. Uh, a Washington County Sheriff's deputy and other law enforcement were behind this 18-wheeler. Uh, it was reported stolen. Uh, when they saw the vehicle, it was on State Highway 36 over here on this side of the 290 by the McDonald's. The driver fled from law enforcement and came here on, on 290 going westbound took the, uh, the feeder loop under 290, the main highway, uh, and went east back on 290 feeder. Uh, the stolen 18-wheeler took a hard right turn and went into the DPS Brenham office. The suspect is Clinard Parker, who is 42, from Chapel Hill. Parker was taken into custody and take it to the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Parker was taken, or Parker did come to the DPS uh, Burnham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. He then, uh, while he was there, the driver's license staff advised Parker that he was not eligible to uh, renew his commercial driver's license. Two people were flown to CHI St. Joseph's and Bryan. One person was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston. Three were transported to Scott and White here in Brenham and have been released. And eight were treated and released on the scene of the incident. Unfortunately, one person has to come to their injuries and died at the hospital. Criminal, the, this is a criminal investigation that is being led by the Texas Rangers. Parker is facing multiple felony offenses and Victim Support Services for DPS is on the scene at the Family Reunification, which is at the Brenham Police Department. Any questions? Does the driver have any weapons on him at the time? That's all under investigation. His name is going to be Clinard Parker, C-L-E-N-A-R-D Parker. Does he have previous charges? That's under investigation. We're, we're not going to release that information right now because it's still uh, very fresh. And so family notification still has to be made. Was that person a state employee? That's, we're, that's under investigation. How many people total were state employees and how many were? So we, all we have right now is 14 total individuals. Uh, that's all under investigation. Still very active. Can you repeat your question? No. There was no resist. Can you describe how he was arrested? He was taken out of the 18-wheeler and taken into custody by several officers. When he was denied that CDO, were there any threats to his turn and were there any precautions taken maybe at the office? That's still under investigation. We're, we're pulling all the information that we can. You're, that's all going to be released through a public information request. Why was he denied the CDL? That's all under investigation. You don't know why he was denied. 
No, we're still trying to get all that information. It's very fresh, so we're still trying to get as much information as we can. Do you know approximately how many people were actually inside the building or in the ground? That was going to be the 14 people. Just the whole, so all 14 people were injured, or 13 injured, and one deceased were totality of people inside? Yes, all the people inside. Were there people in there who were uh, not injured or just present? So the, the, the eight that I said that got checked on scene, uh, that was everybody that was still there that didn't want to go to the hospital. So that's going to include all all the people that were there. What's that? We're 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 still trying to figure that out. Yeah, the 18 of you that looks like it went into the building. Did he drive out and grab a jacket, or why is the 18 of you out? Yeah, he he went into the vehicle or went into the building and did come back out. That is the front door where the driver's license office is at. I'm not it's un, unsure right now. We're still trying to figure all that out. So that, that front door, that front door, uh, sorry, that's a waiting area where people who are, you know, waiting for the driver's Correct. license. Correct. Kind of Correct. Yeah, that's what the, the waiting area and where the driver's license uh, desk are at. Gotcha. So were any, were any officers, just trying to get an idea of exactly how far into the building Correct. did the truck make it inside? Did it make it past the lobby into the office area as well? That's all still under investigation. There are, there are several offices behind uh, that driver's license waiting area. So we're still trying to figure all that out. So the suspect did not suffer any injuries. So there were 14 people, just to clarify, 14 people total. 14 total. Eight people checked out, one person deceased, everybody else went to the hospital, Every, everybody went to hospitals, yes. Okay, so there were 14 people total that were actually injured. Correct. Okay, so did you get a sense of how many people were actually injured? Did you get a sense of how many people were actually injured? How many were civilians and how many were civilians? We're still trying to figure all that out. You have been listening to officials speak about the stolen 18-wheeler that crashed into a Texas Department of Public Safety building. One person is dead. Several people were injured as a result of this. The 42-year-old male suspect, we heard officials name him, uh, the name is Clenard Parker, was being chased by a deputy when that truck crashed into the building. The driver is in custody. And officials said that he was apparently denied a commercial driver's license at that same building yesterday. The suspect is now facing multiple felony offenses.